Hello guys, welcome to Andy's Reviews again. My name's Andy, I'm going to be reviewing The Force Awakens, as you can tell from what's on the screen behind me. Now, a few things to get out of the way. <clears throat> this is three weeks after the movie came out. I hope you guys have seen the movie, because there will be some spoilers. There will be. I can't... I can't get away from that. I waited three three weeks to post this review, mostly because I saw it the Monday before it came out. I had to sign an NDA, I couldn't talk about it, and I wanted the surprises to be surprises. So with that out of the way, hopefully you have seen it. If not, oh well. I'm moving on. Now, I'm going to try and not be as spoiler-filled as possible, but there may be one or two that slips up. What can I say about The Force Awakens? Yes, it is a reboot. Yes, it is a rehash of A New Hope. But that's the beauty about Star Wars, is it rhymes. You're going to have moments that reflect itself. Why not an entire episode reflect another episode? That being said, I had a lot of fun in it. It did what it was supposed to do. It drew me back in. Yes, there wasn't a whole lot of story to it. Yes, it was a lot of rehash. But the part that I liked was the characters. I really felt for them, especially Kylo Ren. Kylo Ren's tantrums, especially when... Uh, he finds out about the girl, Ray, escaping, and both times, actually, was hilarious to me. It made him more real. Like, he didn't, he, things weren't going his way, so he lashed out in the way that he knew how. On top of that, the thing that really excited me about this whole thing is this. It's all set up. We know we're going to get a Star Wars movie. Now, what makes me a little sad, we're going to get a Star Wars movie every year for the rest of our lives. That's what I meant to say. What makes me really sad about this whole opportunity and everything is this. Star Wars is supposed to be a generational thing. We're supposed to only get three movies every 10 to 15 years. I'm glad George Lucas sold it off. I'm sad he called them white slavers. But here's the deal. This is all set up. This is the pilot for an ongoing series. Is it all going to be good? I don't think so. I have high hopes for Episode 8, and I have high hopes for Rogue One. As far as any of the spinoffs, I don't have high hopes for. I really enjoyed it. It was great. Uh, it was a great setup for everything that was going to happen. So if you haven't seen the movie, go see it. Yet. Go see it. If you have seen the movie, go see it again. It's really good, especially in theaters. If you get a chance to see it on the biggest screen possible, that's the way Star Wars was meant to be seen. And I really had a lot of fun doing it. So thank you guys so much, and I'll see you next week.